Hey there lovely people, you've got Sammy here and today we are going to be doing the gorgeous Bell Square as part of our 365 Granny Square a Day Crochet Along project. So I've done a chain of 26, I've popped a single crochet into the second chain from the hook and I'm going to single crochet all the way across. Our gorgeous Bell Square is a graph gant, um, so we'll be, we'll be referring uh, to the graph to complete it. I'll just be showing you the basic principles of completing a graph again. Um, so when you're looking at the graph, which I highly recommend you have a copy of uh, while you're completing the square, um, if you can print it out that's ideal because it's really easy that way to cross off and keep track of where you're up to. Um, each little square represents a single crochet. So we're going to have 25 stitches across, 25 single crochet, and we're going to be 25 stitches high, so 25 rows. Our first row is all the background colour. Uh, I'm using green. You can use whichever colour you choose, but our first row will just be the one colour. I will meet you back here so we can get on to the second row where we'll be incorporating the striker of our bell. If you refer to the graph you'll see what I'm talking about. The little bit hangs down in the middle, hits the sides of the bell and makes the noise. So I'll let you finish this row, first row of 25 single crochet. I'll see you back here for row two. Okay guys, I finished 25 single crochet for row one. I have uh, done a chain of one, turned my work, and then done a single crochet into the first stitch to the 11th. So I've got 11 single crochet. Um, now our 12th is also in the background color, but our 13th um, is the striker of the bell. So I'm going to start introducing a second color. Um, now I've started from here, even though number 12 is background, to show you how to do it. So we pull the loop up, but rather than finishing our single crochet in the background collar, I'm just going to loop my yarn over my hook and pull that collar through to complete my 12th stitch. Now it's only one stitch for the striker, so I leave a long tail, pull the loop up, and then we're back to the background colour, which I'm carrying behind, pulling through to complete the stitch. Now you can pull your tails to get your tension right. And we will be completing the remainder of this row in the background colour. So another 12 single crochet in the background colour. <clears throat> you can see our needs a little tension adjustment so I'm just going to pull the tail there. Uh, you can see our single crochet stitch in the middle of the row as the first stitch to make our bell. I'll let you guys finish out the remainder of this row and I will meet you back here for row okay. three. We're back for row three now we're working on the back of our square. We're working exactly the same way, except because we're working on the back of our square, rather than working from the right to the left side of the graph, we are working backwards from the left to the right. Um, so I've done uh, 10 stitches, 11th stitch is where we change color. I'm just gonna make sure I pull my background color to the back which is the side facing me for this row. Pull up the white I'm using for my striker to complete the 11th stitch. And then we've got three stitches in white. Now I don't want to leave that tail there because I'm gonna need it on the other side and we don't want a big carry. So I'm going to work over that background color while I do the stitches that I'm <clears throat> that I need in the bell color. So I've done two 
I'm going to pull that white behind now, pick my green back up and use it to complete the third stitch. Following along, remembering each square on the graph is a single crochet and I can finish out my row in the background colour. Now, <clears throat> we're going to be incorporating more colours into this square to complete our bell. I've given you the idea of how you change colour and how you carry colour. So now I'm going to ask that you refer to your graph to complete the remaining 22 rows of this square. Have fun and I will meet you back here at the end to show you what to do with the multiple ends we have on the back and touch base with how you've all gone. I cannot wait to see all your color variations and what you guys come up with, but I will see you back here once you have completed those 25 rows. So you can see when I turn over, I've got three stitches. I've got nice clean carry lines to define my picture and an, a lovely thick single crochet square with a lot of glare. Thank you, white. Let's see if we can hmm, get the idea. I'll let you guys hook away. I'll see you back here soon. Okay. Okay, guys. We are back. Our gorgeous uh, bell is finished. Beautiful red bow on it. Um, and you can see on the back a little bit of what's going on. Now, I didn't carry my yarn quite everywhere. So I have a few extra ends to weave in there. Considering the colours changes and the effect we've been able to get on the front of the square, I think it's well worth that little bit of extra weaving. You can see I've left my tails a little bit longer just so I can use uh, my embroidery needle to sew all of those loose ends in. I hope that you have all enjoyed hooking up our gorgeous bell square. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Have a fantastic day and until next time, happy hooking.